no, no, no. Oh, you piece of... You've joined us in the middle of an unplanned pasta battle. So unplanned, in fact, Mike didn't turn up. Instead, we have this man replacing him. An idea of his that I have to bring to life. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> angry. I like it's cooking so my angry. ideas in the kitchen, not somebody else's. <laughs> Uh, right. Ready? Yeah. We all making pasta to start? Yes. Yeah. This doesn't look right to me. You doing yours by hand, Baz? Yep. <coughs> Why? No, you're not. No, I'm not. I do sometimes if I'm at home and I want like nice, calm, chilled, therapeutic <sighs> vibes, but that's not what I've been given today. <laughs> it's... Ah, leakage, leakage, leakage. No, stop it. Good. Pasta done and resting. How you doing, boys? I'm slightly behind. Pasta done. I'm making lamb kima tikka masala and sag paneer lasagna. <laughs> that was a lot of words. Imagine beautiful layers of lamb kima tikka masala, sag paneer, pasta, a little bit of mozzarella, and then some fried onions, and then some more layers. Wow! And that is going to be a beautiful Lasagna. Fusion, Jamie. A beautiful fusion lasagna. A fusion lasagna. No. 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 A las a lasagna. It's going to be delicious. Might annoy a few people. Kush isn't here today, and he gave me permission to do it, and I think that makes it all right. Ben, what's Mike left for you today? I think Mike just went. What's big SEO and food trend crazy? Let's smush them together. And he's seen the pasta made in the Parmesan wheel. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Brilliant. And he loves a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. So he's left me all the ingredients for Philly cheesesteak and a whole provolone to put it in. <laughs> he's also given me a ciabatta, which will offend everybody who knows what a Philly cheesesteak is. <laughs> if it goes really well, he's taking all the credit. If it goes really badly, you get all the blame. <laughs> My funny looking pasta dough is now done. Now it needs to be rested. First of all, my pasta, a chocolate giant raviolo twirl. Then inside I've got a sweet cinnamon ricotta cannoli filling, drizzled over with a carbonara sauce and candied bacon. My God, that sounds like something I vomited when I was seven because I <laughs> ate too much. <laughs> it is a slightly confusing title, but I think, I think it will come together nicely. Now, the filling. Ricotta, icing sugar, cinnamon, mixy mixy, piping bag, fridge. Not only did Mike not plan a recipe, he was just going to riff with an idea, he also didn't plan a food order. So I'm basically <laughs> scrounging around and I found some old parsley from last week, been wrapped up in the fridge uh, to keep it as fresh as possible. I'm going to blend it with the breadcrumbs that might well be the sub of the Philly cheesesteak, some garlic, some good olive oil, salt and pepper, and then crisp them up so they can go on top of my pasta dish. Steaming up, smelling good! Right, I've made my tikka masala sauce by adding in a load of aromatics, some onion, ginger, garlic, tomato paste, honey, all of that kind of stuff. It's gone into there with some double cream. Garam masala is looking a beautiful colour. Uh, I've crisped up some lamb mince. That's going to go into my sauce, and then it just needs to simmer away for a few minutes whilst I get on with my sag paneer, which really is a sag puree, but we'll come on to that. So the aim here is I've got my cannoli mix <laughs> my ravioli filling basically in here and the idea is I'm going to be pouring this into the middle of my ravioli but it needs to be really thick and I think that's too loose yeah so I'm going to take the egg whites from my custard and mix that back in to give it to make it more moussey and lighter I'm going to lay the crumbs on here and put them in an oven uh, just below 100 degrees to dry them out for as long as I can to avoid Jamie putting his lasagna in the same oven at a high heat. Uh, now I've got to hack into this. It is a full fat cow's milk cheese from the north of Italy. If we take it out and hollow it out, it's going to become the bowl and plate for our dish and at the same time lend more of that provolone goodness. I'm just shaving my bottom so that I've got a nice flat surface and my bowl won't ro roll around too much. Now there is an art to cracking into the wheel of a cheese. And like any art, I'm not very good at it. Now for my carbonara, aka a creme anglaise. Um, <laughs> eggs whisked up with some vanilla sugar, cream warming up, in there, back in there, it's mixy, 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 custard, not scrambled eggs. 
But general consensus is you're allowed to fuse and change traditional dishes when you fully appreciate and understand the originals. What I'm doing is And everyone in the comments has also said you need to take that chef's, jacket, chef's apron off because it's not really suing for you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get it right before you mix it up is what they're Appreciate. saying. Appreciate. You're not even going to be in this video. I'd you're love, lu you're I'd, lucky to be here. I'd love to not be in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be in an ultimate pasta battle where I get to cook something I want to cook. But I feel like Mike had this idea at three o'clock in the morning when he couldn't sleep. Oh, boys, this is the toughest spooning I've ever done. How deep do you reckon Mike would have gone? Uh, from previous experience, not that deep. Good, because I'm exhausted after this spooning. Wilted spinach, double cream, and obviously, feta. Now, I know what you're thinking. Feta is a deliciously salty, fantastic cheese that's going to melt really nicely as we simmer this sauce. There are Italian cheeses that would do that, and there are Indian cheeses that would do that. There are, yeah. Feta is what we had in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's how unplanned it was. Yep. Excavations done. I have myself a cavity inside the bottom half of a bowl of provolone. It's not um, smooth on the bottom, but actually, if we're putting hot pasta in there, that's the bit that will kind Why of, as people hot? eat it, mix around. Job done. All my mise en place is done, and I'm going to saute them off. High, fierce heat, I want some sear. So what I want from my bacon is render out the fat, get rid of the fat, and replace that with sugar, cook it out until it's off the candy. I've seen it done, never done it myself. Quick clear down. It's time to roll out some pasta. Make a lasagna. So I've rolled out my rested pasta. I've gone one less than the thinnest setting because I do want to mix this in the cheese bowl later. I don't want it to fall apart. Uh, and I've gone for this length, which is, well, however long that is. What's bizarre about Mike's unplanned battle idea was he said, I just want to do one long piece of pasta. And my question is, <laughs> why? <laughs> Not how, because we can do that, but why? We all want it longer, Ebers. But we sometimes just have to work within our own parameters. And with my little hands, this is long enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Jay, what are you doing? I think the official term is I'm screwing it up. A couple of top tips, Jay. When you put it through the first time, you always have scraggly ends. If you fold it over book form and put it back through twice, you end up with something that's much easier to work with. Well, that way. Yep, and then Make an envelope. There. And now you've got two straight sides. So those sides now go in that way. Yeah. And you've got more control. Shall I do your washing up, boys? I think it's all Jamie's. <laughs> I think it's not. I think three of those bowls are your custard bowls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Actually. Did I turn those out? Oh, it might be me. Sorry, chef. That's not good. Looks like I'm making shredded beef. Oh no. I start from the wrong, wrong side. Move. The pasta machine's here, mate. Let's start the construction process. I have my uh, traditional lasagna dish. Start with a little bit of our sag puree. This is likely to offend a lot of people, but I bet it'll be delicious. I think it's going to be one of those ones that's an absolute hot mess. That's going into an oven, 200 degrees, 20 minutes. When it's done, it's <laughs> done. <laughs> I reckon that's going on the menu at the Sorted Pub. Oh, I just, I, it's already just in my head, it just sounds, it reads on the menu so well. So offensive, but Stop so Stop being well. nice! That's not what we do! So well. No one's hidden an egg in my bum, and I feel weird. <laughs> I take it back. This idea of Mike's is going to work. Ooh. I feel like, if anything, it's too simple. Oh! Everything's under control. It's all done way ahead of time, just as I imagine it would have been if Mike was here. <laughs> OK. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. So we've got some, a little bit of sear on those. I've taken them out the pan to go in with the steak. Then I'll add the garlic. Then I'll mix it all back in together. In with provolone cheese and cream, and then the pasta. Okay, right, filling back into the fridge. I'm going to wet this edge. Doop, 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 doop. 
for something you've never tried? Well, that was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> made this work, I now have to roll it. You've made the poop emoji. I've made a giant, thanks Ed. I have made a giant poo, bugger. Okay. It's floating. It's floating. It's floating. It's not made a float. Boys, do you reckon that's what Mike was thinking? Interesting! <laughs> I'm sure it'll be more delicious than it. Oh my goodness, I'm hypnotised. <laughs> <laughs> what I've done, guys, is I've made a poo emoji. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great! That was high pitched, Debbers. I didn't like, don't trust it. <laughs> I don't think that sauce helps it. Oh no. <laughs> How does it feel to make the most obscure, ridiculous dish out of the three of us? It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, normally, in these unplanned battles, I wouldn't know what's gone on and I would judge them. Today, we're all going to taste them and then you guys get the final say in the comments. So comment down below which you think is the win. All we've got to do is tuck into them and tell you what they taste like. Start with Mike's. Yours. Mike. Yours and Mike. Mike's, Mike's concept, Ben's delivery. Mike's concept, my delivery. Now, traditionally, it would be mixed in the cheese bowl and then served on a plate, but hey. Steaming and silky uh, provolone in the middle, mm. as well as on the bottom. The sauce is absolutely delicious. If you stuck that in a sandwich, it'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> the sandwich on top. Yeah. The sandwich is crumbled over mm. the top, you see? Obviously, the flavours work. It's a Philly cheesesteak with pasta instead of mm. bread. Mm. The carved out swinging bowl of cheese you serve it in would traditionally be used time and time again. Mm. Once you've served it to someone and they've salivated into it, <laughs> I'm not sure if you could, but as a concept, as an out there idea, tasty. I love that we've got to find a use for the rest of that cheese. Now. Oh, trust me, that won't be a problem. <laughs> I think we need to get the coconut shaver out and just oh, like hollow yes. it out, yes. hollow it out, and then we use it in all sorts of things. Jay, dig into yours. Wow. Yeah, from nowhere, from it out, that's good. From it out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Confidence. Yeah. Yes, Jay. Jamie, wow. Didn't expect the cheese full. That was brilliant! I gave one. Look at that. Can we? <laughs> we have to. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And there's a zing. There's a spice. There's a little bit of spice. You've gone heavy on Besh. Heavy with the, the sag puree. But it needs it to combat mm. the spice. Mm. It's delicious because it holds its shape as you spoon it out, mm. but it's not dry, it's not crumbly, it's mm. really unctuous, it's, it's creamy. The pasta's pretty good, and you've got these little bits outside that have got mm. nice and crispy. Mm -mm. Colour from the turmeric, mm -mm. I like it. No, 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 no. The internet does not deserve that. <laughs> wow. That's good, Jay. How does the pasta eat? How's your moussey middle? Your moussey middle stayed... Moussey? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cinnamon in there. Yeah. yeah, and I was mm. going to say it's the right level of chocolate and cinnamon and vanilla. Actually, flavours wise, I'm really happy with that. That works. It's the texture of the mousse is throwing me off a little bit. As it's cooked, it's changed. It's slightly split, mm. but. Yeah. I think your pasta work, as in mm. the thickness of the pasta and the shape mm. that it held you cooked, was great. So I can't vote for my dish, yep. but I didn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> and still, I'd vote for Jamie's. Really? Mm. My vote, if I can't vote for myself, I'm going to go with Barry's. I think it's the most interesting. I think it's more interesting than the Mike's. Barry's, Ben's. <laughs> this one. <laughs> I'm going to have to go for Jamie's as well. Never had anything like that. That was sensational. Luckily, it's not up to us, although Jamie's did win 2-1. But it's down <laughs> to you. You are the final vote because you don't have an official judge here today. Mm. Comment down below. Good effort, boys. Well done. Great effort. Mike, best dish yet. Yeah.